Hello everyone. This is CCNA Security Lab 6313. And this is our topology. Today we'll configure layer 2 VLAN security. First, we'll verify connectivity inside VLAN 10, and verify connectivity between VLAN 10 and VLAN 5. If you are using the simple PDU GUI packet, be sure to ping twice to allow for ARP. Now, we connect switch 1 and switch 2 using a crossover cable, and connect port fast Ethernet 023 on switch 1 to port fast Ethernet 023 on switch 2. And then, we turn on the interfaces, and enable trunking including all trunk security mechanisms on the link between switch 1 and switch 2. And we have to enable VLAN 20 as a management VLAN, and configure interface VLAN on each switch.
Now, we'll connect the management PC to switch A on port fast Ethernet 01. And assign this port is access VLAN 20. We also have to configure an available IP address within the VLAN 20 network to management PC. Now the management PC should be able to ping switch A, switch B, switch 1, switch 2, and central switch. and we have to enable the management PC to access router 1. To do that, we enable a new sub-interface on router 1. And set encapsulation to dot .1Q20 for VLAN 20 and assign an IP address within the VLAN 20 network. After that, we configure the default gateway on the management PC to allow for connectivity. Finally, we configure an ACL. This ACL permit only management PC SSH to router 1. Other PC cannot SSH to router 1 anyway. To make this ACL work properly, we have to apply it online VTY, because if we apply it to interface, we have to apply on all three sub-interface. That's not so good. Okay, now we'll check the activity of our ACL. The management PC is able to ping and SSH to router 1, but other PC can ping only, they cannot SSH to router 1 anyway.
So we finished this lab. And of course we got 100%. Thank you for watching.